This is our 1988, I think it's a late 88 F uh, Land Rover 110 County Station Wagon. Um, much loved, uh, very reluctantly up for sale. Um, our new son was born a couple of months ago uh, and unfortunately this 110 is just not practical um, when you've got uh, a four-year-old and a, a, a couple of month old baby. Um, can't get the baby seat in the back, it's a bit of a struggle. My other half, she's only short. Um, so we've got her another car and, and unfortunately this one, this one has to go. Let's have a quick look around. Not showroom. <laughs> she's, a, she's a 30 year old Land Rover 110. She's not a typical Chelsea tractor. She has been off-road. Nothing strenuous. No big bangs, no knocks, no cracks or anything like that. Um, but yeah, she she hasn't spent all her life on on-road and she hasn't spent all her life off-road. We've gone all sorts of places in her. She's been to the Isle of Wight, done a few lanes in the Isle of Wight. And obviously in Hampshire and Surrey as well. Girlfriend's a photographer. This this car gets us to places that other cars just can't get. As I say, it's not in showroom condition. It's a sort of a matte black paint. Um, So it's a sort of a matte black paint finish. Um, she could do a tidying up here and there, but she is absolutely solid. Spotlights are widened to work with the main beam. So you flash your main beams, the four spots on the top will flash with you. Uh, the snorkel kit is all fitted and plumbed in. Um, Recently I've done rear wheel bearings uh, on both sides, obviously both sides. Um, front swivel seals, front swivel pins, uh, CV joints, front wheel bearings. Um, power steering has been looked at. It's had a new radiator, um, replacement starter motor. Um, It's got some odd wiring, uh, which you'll see when we open the bonnet from from a, a, a previous owner. It's got some some odd some odd wiring, um, but it all works. It does have central locking, so if we go up, look, see that you know, da, 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 da. doors locked. Press a button. There we go. So it does have a, a retrofit central locking. Sills are solid. The chassis, while I'm down here. The chassis is solid. Absolutely perfect. All the outriggers. solid. Bottom of the bulkhead is solid. If we go up over the rear wheel arch, you see the rear dumb irons. They're all absolutely pucker. <laughs> I'll send my double. But yeah, the chassis is tip top. Loads of grip in these tyres as well. A ah, new rear prop shaft as well. Or was it front prop shaft? I'll check. Um, replacement discovery transfer box with the higher ratio so it cruises better. It's got a 300 TDI engine from a discovery in there as well, um, which we'll show you when we open up the bonnet. 
five speed LT77 gearbox. Diff lock works, transfer into low works. Radio with CD player. Uh, depending on which corner you go around, you'll either get both speakers, or if you turn around the corner, you'll get one speaker, and then when you go straight, you'll get both speakers again. <laughs> no headlining. And the seat condition for a car this old is, is impeccable. The front seats have always been, as far as I know, been covered with these seat covers but the seats themselves the fabric of the seats is in pretty good condition we do also have a center seat that can fit in place of the cubby but I've raised the cubby box up because I like to rest my arm on it and I've also fitted seat rails to uh, roll the seat back a couple more inches. These can be just literally unbolted these rails, put the seat back in its original position and job the good and takes five minutes to do. Um, but me being long in the leg, I prefer the seat to sit a little a little further back than that. The doors Doors are solid, they could do with a bit of work. They are a little a little sort of rusty at the bottoms. They could do with a little bit of looking at. But they, they work, they're functional, they do the job. Yeah. Central locking is on all all four doors, doesn't do the, the rear door. Again, those rear seats are superb. There we go. There's, uh, there's, as I say, sills are nice and solid. Door jams are good. The B pillar is nice and solid. So the cappings, the steel, the steel cappings, especially on the other side, we'll show that in a minute, could do with probably rubbing down and redoing. Do a door. Real load space with a wooden deck. Uh, that's got all my recovery gear in, so that will come. That that's not part of the car. That comes with me. That's staying with me. I do have the rear bench seats and cushions that can be bolted back in. Oh, there's an aeroplane taking off. plastic trim that goes around the window. I think I've got that side in the garage. <laughs> I'll have to have a look. I do have the rear bench seats with uh, all the cushions etc um, as well. I've also got that'll come with the car a full length, well full, full roof length um, roof rack. Uh, that I'll try and show you pictures of before I took it off because we couldn't get it into a car park um, with it on so we had to take it off but that will come with it and also a set of window guards as well that you can bolt on if you're going to go on safaris take it off, uh, off off the beaten track trek across Africa that sort of thing we've got a full set of window guards that will protect the windows from ravaging lions and etc but yeah as I say this side you could do with rubbing down and repainting Footwells are solid.
Right, let's uh, let's open up the uh, the bonnet. I'm going to have to put the camera down because it takes a couple of hands. Bear with me. As I say, 300 TDI from a Discovery, runs superb, uh, recently had timing belt done March last year, and we've probably done 8,000, probably less miles, probably about 8,000 miles let's say, um, but yeah, so the timing belt was done, fuel pump timing was done. Um, New cam, uh, sorry, crankshaft, sprocket, and wood rough keys were also fitted uh, at the same time. New idler pulleys for the cam belt were fitted because the 300 TDIs had a problem. Well, the early 300 TDIs had a problem with um, cam belt wear, etc. So it's all been fitted with the latest, latest uh, updates of the idler pulleys, etc. All new studs are in. Um, for the idler pulleys and tensioner etc. Um, all been timed up and as I say that was March last year that was all done. Um, when all that was done obviously an oil change was done as well um, so that could probably uh, probably be doing in the next couple of thousand miles next few months however much you drive it. This has been sitting for a while because um, we just don't we just don't drive it anymore. Um, silicon turbo hose from the intake. Uh, it is all plumbed in via the snorkel as well. As I say, bit of bit of funky wiring there. Uh, one relay is headlights, one relay is the um, spotlights and I think the other relay is the relay to switch the spotlights and the headlights. Something like that. <laughs> But it all works, it's all it's all, all wired in. Uh, yeah, you will come with a few spider webs. Because I say it's just been parked up most of the time. Has been fit the viscous fan has been taken off um, and an electric fan has been fitted. I didn't do this, but for some unknown reason, um, this metal shroud is live. Um, not earth for some bizarre reason so you might want to look at that um, I think they wanted to swap the, the, the way the motor ran from one, one way pulling air or pushing air to the other way so they wired it the other way round uh, and now the casing of the motor is live so if you're going to be doing spannering work etc it's best to disconnect the battery first or disconnect the, uh, the, the, the fan connections um, just in case when you're in here with a spanner, you accidentally hit the uh, the back of the fan motor there. I don't know, it's odd. Um, it's had, the engine out's had new core plugs fitted, because the rear one on the back of the block was leaking. So last year, the engine was pulled out. Um, and new core plugs throughout fitted, new head gasket uh, while it was out was done. Uh, new valve seals were done. It's had new leak off pipes as you can see. Uh, it's had a whole new fuel pipe going all the way back down to the fuel pump there because the, the leak off pipes were leaking and the banjo on the back of the pump was leaking so that was all replaced. Um, while the engine was out it's had new clutch, new clutch bearings, new release arm, new um, release arm, they call them slippers, They're these little um, <laughs> uh, slippers that fit on the release arm that roll on the uh, on the clutch release bearing. They've all been done. It's had uh, um, 
well yeah so all that was done while the engine was out uh, as well as I say I did the I had a, a shattered CV joint on one side so both CV joints were done along with both front wheel bearings rear wheel bearings were picked up on uh, an MOT uh, this year so they were done this year um, I've got a video for the CV joints, I've got a video for the wheel bearings um, and I've got a, I think I've got a video for the re replacement starter motor as well um, I may have one for the for the radiator as well when I change the radiator because it's had a new radiator I'll link all of those so there we go let's uh, fire her up shall we she doesn't smoke if you absolutely tank it and put your foot down then she'll give you a, a hint of smoke let's wait for the glows okay. starts up straight away always has done never Never fail to start on literally the first turn of the key. Runs beautiful. Let's close the bonnet. One second. Might jump around a little bit with the <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. Let's see if we can do a quick through the back window. Let's put my water bottle down. Through the back window sort of thrash. Nothing at all. Oh, yeah, so she runs. She runs beautifully. So let's go for a quick spin around the block. See how well I can. We're on a private estate here where I work. Oh, so. Oh. No problem, let's wind the window down. Okay. I will try and drive and film at the same time. So yeah, so she, uh, Drives fantastically well. When driving this car, you'll never be alone because there's spiders all over the <laughs> little spiders everywhere. I'm afraid. Let's see how well she pulls in second because I forgot to change gear. There we go. She drives fantastically well. Right, let's turn around here. Just can't get out this end. So we'll turn around and what we'll do is we'll put it into low box. Show you the low box works. Right, spin around. Oh, she's got the turning circle of a super tanker. Oh, I'm not going to make it. 
Oh, just. Yeah. Right, so. Just rolling to a slow stop. Just, there we go. She's in low now. First gear. slow down. Now we won't be going around any corners because the road is, is straight here but we can go into diff lock. The light for diff lock has come on on the dashboard. We can drive. Obviously we're not going to turn the wheel or anything because we're not on loose gravel we don't want to ruin the diff lock. Slow down, take it out of diff lock and the light goes out so obviously we're now out of diff. Main box neutral, high range, first gear, and away we go. So, low range, uh, high range works through the transfer box. As I say, it's a discovery transfer box. Uh, 1.221, I think it is, ratio. And she drives, uh, as I say. She drives very well. Really, really don't want to get rid of this uh, this car. started. So there we go. This is our 110. Now unfortunately, we'll need to go. A massive, massive shame. Love this car. Absolutely love this car. 